Google Keep is a app. It's a tool, a website that you can get from your phone um, or you can get from the web. So we're gonna take a look at the web version today. This is a great place for you to do to-do lists for each of your classes um, or to keep tasks in one area. You can also use it to jot down or take notes. So we're gonna explore some of those features today. I will tell you, unlike uh, Google Tasks, Google Keep has so many more features. So if you want something that gives you more options, then Google Keep is a great tool for that. So to get to Google Keep, we are at keep.google.com. And when we're in here, I don't have any notes yet. So right uh, from the beginning here at the top, I just click to start taking a note so I can give it a title. And then I can go right in and start jotting down notes. But what makes Keep unique is that not only can you take notes, but we can do other things. So let's check out some of those tools right here for you. When I go to the more category, this is probably the one you'll use the most. You can turn on check boxes and check boxes just let you make a list that you can then go through and check off items for. So if I need to read chapter one and then I can continue to add my items here, but I also have other options. So let's take a look here. I can add labels to things. I can hide the check boxes. If my note gets pretty long, I can take it and make it into a Google Doc. So all of those are under those three stack lines. If I'm finished with this note and I don't want it anymore, so you'll notice when I click off of it, it just adds it here for me to look at. When I click back in to it, I can edit it. If I'm finished with this note, I can archive it and it's just gonna go under my archive label here on the left. Moving over, this one's really cool. We can add images to it. Why is this one cool? Well, I've shared with you guys on um, our Student Tech Hub website, a folder with these pretty cool images on them. So in that folder, there are two versions of each one. So English, math, science, social studies, and there's also one a template that you can go in and make a copy of so you can make your own if you have different classes. But how this works is I can add an image so I'm gonna to click to add an image. And then if you're on your Chromebook, it's gonna bring up those drive files for you. So I can go in here and grab my English. And now it has a nice little image attached to it so I can very easily see that I'm working on some English work here. So you can add pictures to it. You can change the color. So if you wanna do some color coding with it, you can do some color coding. Here's another cool thing. You can add others to your list. So if your teacher asks you to um, add them to your to-do list or you need some help, you can also collaborate with others on lists, which is really cool. And so you can add those in there. So those are just some of the cool features with Keep. The other awesome thing about Keep is that if you do have access to a tablet or a phone, you can get the Keep app right on your phone and they sync together. So you can always have your digital notes or your digital to-do list right with you. So this was a quick overview of Google Keep. Don't forget again, you have that folder shared with you of those images. So if you wanna use those or create your own, they were just created in Google Drawing. Hopefully this helps give you some ideas of how you can stay organized and keep your to-do list with Google Keep.